If life was someday proven to be a simulation, what glitch or anomaly could you point to as a major clue we'd missed? The Bader Meinhof phenomenon. When you learn something new, it seems like you see it everywhere right after that. Like a video game, when you learn some new move, then it is immediately applicable to your life. When your pen gets lost as soon as it hits the floor, and then appears right there after some time. I dropped a pen once while doing homework back in high school. I was sitting on a bench in a grassy field that was not overgrown by any means. There wasn't anything around the bench. I spent an absurd amount of time looking for the pen before deciding it vanished. In college, I couldn't find my favorite lipstick. It usually lived on my dresser, which admittedly also had a bunch of other crap on it at that point. So I take everything off the dresser, item by item, and move it to my bed as I look for the missing tube of lipstick. It wasn't there. But everything back on the dresser, item by item, then left the room. Came back a little while later and the lipstick was sitting by itself right by the edge. This happened to me with a winter hat I couldn't find before work. I go so frustrated I was gonna be late, I screamed. My roommate woke up and asked what was wrong, I told him I couldn't find my hat. He says the one that's on the floor over there. And sure enough it's sitting in the middle of an otherwise completely empty room. There is no way in hell I hadn't walked over that spot 20 times that morning, and there was no way in hell I could have missed it, because I could see it from where I was standing as soon as he pointed to it. Roommate, wakes up to you screaming about the hat, realizes they forgot to put it back after borrowing it, discreetly tosses it on the middle of the floor and points, this one? Before cell phones I accidentally misdialed a person's number and got them at someone else's house with the wrong number being three numbers off. Edit thanks for the awards. I talked to her for about a minute and she asked me how I got her uncle's number. I said I didn't have his number, I dialed hers. We both fell deadly silent thinking about how bizarre it was. Hello, David speaking oh sorry, I must have misdialed, I was trying to get hold of my mom. Oh no Bruve, she's here, hold on, let me go get her out of bed. Fatality The Quantum Eraser Quantum physics as a whole feels like a huge dev shortcut, things only exist in a definitive state when they are interacted with, kind of like a pool only rendering things when your character is looking at them. Don't forget Wheeler's delayed choice. Quantum transactions reconciled backwards in time. That's what made me believe even more. The speed of light is the universal refresh rate, the Planck length is the universal pixel. Quantum superposition is for data compression. It's just lazy evaluation. Totally understandable, I wouldn't want to have to simulate an entire universe if no one is looking at it. The game originally only contained a small region in Africa, and the map was expanded with higher LV zones as the player base rose. Alternative ecosystems were added soon after to shake up an otherwise stale meta. Populations eventually required splitting into two supercontinent servers, but these were merged when the background tech came up to snuff. Still a highly controversial move, particularly among communities that were on the lower pop server before the merge. What's really impressive, though, was the devs' roadmap. They added stars pretty early on, and players spent millennia hyping up what kind of future content they implied. Extremely high-level teams are only just now getting access to this content. You could say the strict laws of physics that govern our reality. If we were in, say, a video game, would eventually start wondering why the rules seem absolutely rigid mathematical. Maybe the speed of light is just the speed limit for transmitting information within the network of our simulation edit, a typo. Also, there seems to be a limited resolution due to Planck's constant. Our who must be ducking insane though, our rendered distance is essentially infinite. It's taken 14 bn years to loads the faraway objects though. Did it though? The system was just powered on last Thursday. Ah, I see you're a man of culture as well. Deja Rev. It's similar to Deja Vu but it's where you've dreamed of a future moment. It's weird and for me it hasn't been useful. But one moment I'll be experiencing life and know what's going to happen, because I saw it in a dream. He'll even know about my futile attempts to change it from the dream. It only lasts a couple minutes at most and is at mundane moments but it is freaky. I have had that, for me, the dreams are vague and slightly unformed, and then when the thing happens Earl, it all snaps into place. Creepy. And I thought I'm the only one with this. 
I can't really explain it to other people and when I did they thought it was just deja vu. Same here. It's damn near useless up until you realize you're in it and by the time you do, it's already over. And the only proof that you have to yourself is how you knew you were in it while in it. This has definitely happened to me, a few times I've known in advance that it would happen. Usually the dream is just something so mundane but something isn't recognizable and it sticks out as unfamiliar so I remember it when I wake up, and then months or years later it'll be in that moment like, oh here it is, this makes sense now. Edit, oh wow, thank you for the gold. Yes. Mine is typically average conversation with someone that ends up happening a few days weeks later. Something mundane but it strikes me and I'm like I knew you were going to say that. Super weird. What the duck? This happens to other people. I thought I was having the most boring premonitions in history. C. The speed of light reads like a hotfix. Change notes for version 1.0000000001. Late game players have been reporting a bug where objects appear to spawn before the spawn conditions have been met, causing erroneous results. Testing reveals that objects traveling at very high speeds cause an in overflow on the time axis, resulting in unpredictable results in skyrocketing CPU usage. As a temporary fix, massless objects now have their velocity locked for call purposes. Objects with mass will require exponentially increasing energy to increase speed, hitting a hard wall at 3 by 108 meters per second. This means interstellar travel is functionally disabled. Will eventually be addressed in the wormhole update, released by. For now please stay away from any black holes. Those things are written on spaghetti code. We just hacked in infinite gravitational wells, so that anything that interacts with them and glitches out is hidden behind functional unobservability. We need to have meaningful code reviews, people. When you run into someone you don't know and you both stare at each other saying, you look familiar. Do I know you? And then ask a million questions trying to figure it out and come to the conclusion that you don't in fact know each other. Then walk away still wondering why that person looked so familiar. All those names of people in the news are running for different positions that just seem like the devs are messing with us. Like the one where a politician named Wiener got caught in a sex scandal sending pictures of his Wiener to women. Next you'll tell us about the guy named Madoff who made off with people's money in a Ponzi scheme. Let's not forget the fastest runner in the world is named Bolt. Mark Webb directed two Spider-Man movies. Deja Vu I've just been in this place before. Higher on the street. And I know it's my time to go. Calling you ooh. And the subject's a mystery. Standing on my feet. It's so hard when I'm trying to be me ooh. Deja vu. I've just been in this time before. Veiled, yesterday while driving with my daughter in the car, she says dad. I'm starting to feel that this whole human thing isn't real dot so I guess that would be confirmed as my first hint. There have been numerous hints every day, but you have ignored them all. No, I'm not talking to op. I'm talking to you. I bet you will read this post and still not realize you are the only real person on the planet. We are increasingly frustrated that you are ignoring the main quest line. Why physics appears to operate under different rules depending on whether you are looking at very big things or very small things. If it is a simulation they simply fake the big things to save processing power which is why quantum physics doesn't fit neatly in our understanding of the universe and likely why we are detecting dark matter. The way stuff behaves differently based on whether or not it's observed also seems like the programmers are trying to hide how the source code works. To observe something is to interact with it, to interact with something is to change it. Just pointing this out as a lot of people think it actually has to do with a consciousness looking at something, but it's really not. It should totally be the interaction effect instead of the observer effect, emo. Here's how I see it, it's as if you're blind and trying to predict where a ball will land. The sound isn't enough as it soars through the air, so if you want to find it, you have to touch it in midair. But the second you touch it, it slows down, even if you barely graze it, and thus it changed when you observed it. In the worst case, you get hit by the ball, and you have absolutely no idea where it will land because you change the trajectory entirely. Looking at something, our usual method of observation, only works because photons do this for us, they hit the object, and then hit our eyes. 
But when you try to hit a tiny object like a tiny particle with light or electrons and use that, it moves, like our hypothetical blind person trying to touch the baseball in midair without moving it. Or, in some cases, the light can't even hit it, cause the particle is too small, meaning we can't see the particle. So we say that observing causes it to change, but that's a bit of a simplification. Smile. This is the very first time I get it so clearly, thank you.